So today we're looking at the split function formula in Google Sheets, which allows you to take characters or words in a cell and split them by a delimiter or a character such as a space, a comma, and so forth, and then have the results show up in different cells. So let's go ahead and jump right in with the basic split formula. And then we're just going to select our cell here. And in this case, we're going to use a simple space. And so we put two double quotes, a space, and then another double quote. And we'll close this formula out. And there we can see that it split this name by the space and put the two words in different cells. So if you drag this down, you can see it applies across the board. Now, in this case, we have two spaces and three names. And so it splits that by the space into three names. Now, one thing to note is we change this to a dash, for example, it's only splitting by commas. And so that will remain in one cell. Now let's look at a very similar example when we have a comma instead of a space. And so we can do again, a split here, and then we can do a comma instead of a space and drag this down and you can see now it's splitting by the comma. And then let's jump into this next example. So this one's a little more complicated. So if we use a split like what we have here, and let's go ahead and do that. If we just try to do, for example, a space, first of all, we don't have enough room. So let's go ahead and add a little bit of room just so we can see what this looks like displayed. And so this really isn't a super useful way to split this. So what we'd like to do is get the customer name out of this cell. And so, we have the name here, but it's a little confusing on where that'd be. And so let's look at a different way of doing this. So we're going to go into a little more advanced options of split. If we go here, you can see text, which is the original text you want to do. The delimiters, what you want to split it by. And then this is what we're going to look at next, split by each. And what that means is you want to split around each character contained in the delimiter. And so the reason why this is useful is so what we see happen just before the name is actually the word name followed by a colon and then space. So what if we do name colon space? Well, we're still having issues because what it's trying to do now is split by each one of these characters. So let's go ahead and change this. The split by each by default is true, but if we change this to false, now we can see that that name is being our point of split. And so you can see here, order number 101, comma, customer, and then Fred Bin over here. So we could actually even go a little further with this. Let's say we want to split like this with order name and customer name in the next one. And so let's go ahead and change that here. And now you can see this actually looks pretty neat. We have the order number and then the name. And so that's a good way to take some combined text like this and split it into some useful data that you can use. So for our final example, we're going to look at a slightly different one here. So in this one, we have names on different lines inside this cell. And just so you know how this works, let's say we take a first name like this. And then if we just add another name, it's not on a separate line. And so what we do on a PC, for example, is we use control enter, and that takes us to a, not, to a new line. And then we can say Tom Smith, for example. And now we can see that these are on new lines. So that it can be useful if you need to have multiple lines of data, but if you want to split that back out, if we go to our split formula and click on this, if we do a space, for example, we have a very odd layout there. So what we want to do in this case is actually use a special character. And so we reference that by using this function called char or character. And then we're going to put a number in there because each character is noted by a number. And so 10 is the character for a new line. And so if we do split and use character 10, as our delimiter or our splitter, then you can see that it splits these names by where it falls on a new line. 
All right, so that is it for the split function. I wanted to show you one more thing before you quit because maybe you might want to use a built-in Google tool occasionally for some of these things. So let me just show you on these two examples. So here we have a space between and a comma between. So if we just select this, we go to data and then split text to columns, we can actually do a separator here. And so it has some standard ones or we can do a custom one. So in this case, it'd be a space. And then what happens here is there's no formula and it splits it in place. And so just keep that in mind. Sometimes you may actually want to use this function in this tool in Google Sheets as it might make your life a little easier. In certain cases where you don't want to use a formula, you actually want to do that in place. And so we'll go ahead and do it here as well. And this one did detect it automatically. So if it doesn't pick it up, so for example, if it's on this or something like that, you can just change it to comma and then it'll split that out. All right, so that's it for today's video. I hope that this was helpful for you. Make sure to check out our other videos for more tutorials on both Google Sheets and AppScript. As always, thanks for watching and have a great day.